Hello everybody, it is I, Sakamoto, here with a new Let's Play for my channel. This is Momodora, Reverie Under the Moonlight. And I know I said I was going to play some Undertale fan games, or Sonic Mania, or maybe try Underplay... Underplay... <laughs> Undertale, um, neutral route, where I kill maybe two of the bosses or something. Uh, but... I don't know, I guess I wasn't in the mood for that when I tried starting that stuff. Like, I did try to play and take a few takes of each of those games. Did I say Sonic Mania? Uh, I did try to play that too, but that was what I was going to play uh, instead of this. But uh, I was having too many technical difficulties. I couldn't get it to work and be able to record it and play it. So, unfortunately, that didn't work out too well. Uh, which really sucks, but hopefully I can get that fixed and play it for you guys in the future. Um, so I tried playing Memory, an Undertale fan game, and I didn't, I, to be honest, I didn't really like it. Uh, couldn't get into it, so it kind of off put me a little bit from playing anything else Undertale related for a little while. Um, and I also want to play Delta Rune again at some point, just to, because there's a, there's a boss in Chapter 1. That I didn't get to fight named Jevil, and uh, he's in the hidden room. And there's another, and I guess there's a second time you can fight Spamton. So I don't know if I'm gonna replay the whole game or just maybe I don't know, go find them and fight them and record that. But we'll see. If I don't play the game for a while, I might just replay the whole game. Well, eh, no, we'll probably just do the bosses. I don't know, because I mean the games are already on my channel in full. The the whole game. Chapter one and two. Um, anyway, let's see. This, let's get into this. Enough announcements. As you can see, I've played this game a bunch of times. Uh, I love this game. It's one of the best games on Steam that I've played uh, and beaten a bunch of times. Um, so, what was I gonna? Was I gonna say something? Oh, I was talking about this game. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm really tired. Uh, I haven't been getting much sleep lately. I got my controller to work on this, though, which is good. Uh, I've tried a few takes of this. Um, I think we're going to play on easy and just be a little bit of a sellout here because you get not only do you get way more health and defense and invincibility fra frames because you get these two, I you get another, you get two items that one of them slowly heals you, one of them gives you more defense and invincibility frames, and those will be really useful because I don't need to be dying left and right. <laughs> uh, I, I want this to be a nice chill time where we're not having to keep going back and die. I mean, I could edit that stuff out, but uh, we're just gonna kind of go with the flow in a way. I guess you could say, I'm afraid this is as far as I can take you. I'm sorry, anything close to the city is too dangerous. Surely that that shouldn't be a problem for a priestess like you. Fighting using a leaf must be difficult. But I have faith in your ability to seal the curse away. It has spread to your land too, after all. For now, maybe the best you can do is seek an audience with our queen. Okay. So you don't actually fight with what looks like a lame leaf thing, you'll see. The animation sprites for it are actually really cool, see? Look. It's like a sword. Hells yeah. This is a bellflower. Uh, basically what that does is... Yeah, these are the items I was talking about. You have metal equivalents and adorned ring. The adorned ring it gives you a passive effect of increasing your invisibility frames of defense. It's manually sculpted from minerals found in the depths of the Green River. The piece comes from a Middle Western Empire, evident by its engraving. The metal of equivalence uh, slowly restores your HP. Metal from the province of Chrominia. Carried by messengers mounted on deers, dedicated to a life of long travels. And the bellflower uh, is basically... gives you health. Yeah. <laughs> Sort of small amount of HP per use. Sour flower with restorative powers. Restorative powers. Yeah. Um, you could play this uh, as a 
and get a pacifist trophy or something. I don't know if you get like a special ending or what. I've never played it that way. It's just more fun to enjoy the action, I guess you can say. Hit bells to save progress and restore your items. I don't have to hit it once. But I, don't know, I thought that would be fun. Did I? No, I don't think so. Hang on, I have to go back and check. The no. Shoot. Um, I think I might have missed something, but I guess we'll just keep going and find out later. This person, you have to roll behind them. That game told you how to roll in order to defeat them. That's poison that she's shooting out. You don't want to get hit by that, or else it won't be fun. Oh crap. That's like a bunch of money right there. Oh well. I got. I guess that's an easy mode exclusive thing because I didn't see it when I tried taking a, doing a couple takes of this before. a vitality fragment, it'll increase your HP. So I chose to play on easy mode, I don't know if I explained this yet or not, because I kind of just want this less play slash kind of walkthrough, be just kind of like chill vibes, basically, and not have to, oh yeah, I did explain that, I think. Did I? I, I, I well, I'll say it again if I did. I'm sorry if I already said this, but I just kind of want it to be like a chill vibes, kind of flow, not dying a million times kind of game. Kind of, let's play. Yeah. All right. to uh, have enemies occasionally drop a lot more money. Here, I'll read what it says. Sometimes enemies will drop twice as much money. An old worn out charm radically increases your luck. I took off the ad adorned ring, which is the thing that increases your invincibility frames of defense. I'm gonna keep the thing that solely restores your HP though, for now. Yeah, that, that poison cloud there, it lingers for a little bit and can still poison you, so you gotta watch out for that. This is what I was thinking of earlier. Good, I didn't have to go back. So this is an ivory bug. There's 20 in the game randomly throughout the whole game everywhere. Uh, you get them all. You get some kind of special item that I don't remember what it is right now. I think, or something. Which is cool, obviously. Uh, so we're gonna try to get all those. Uh, ooh, 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 yeah. <laughs> this little bee looking spider dude, bee spider guy. Um, he is a monster and you can hit him and attack him, but I would suggest not doing that because if you leave him alone and you just let him come down and say hi to you, 
later in the game, he will uh, be like a merchant and he'll sell you some cool items and stuff, which is epic. And some of the items it says or says sells, or at least one of them, uh, is extremely rare. And that it's the only way buying it from him is the only way you can get it. So I would highly suggest not hitting that guy. I've got another Vitelli fragment here. Cool. Oh shiz. Yep, got poison. That's okay. We're playing on easy. Not to worry about stuff anymore. Like that, I guess. I have no business with you. Go away, you stupid girl. Okay. Go ahead and room there. I think you can come back and talk to her or something and get something maybe. They respawn when you come back. I can't remember. Yep, they do. Okay. Well, I'm gonna find you again. Another every bug, obviously. I think we're about to face against the first boss. Um, this will be fun, I guess you could say. If you, every boss in this game, if you can beat them without getting hit once, they drop a special item. Well, that sucks. the heck? How did I kill him? Well, that works. I wonder if it's because I died a bunch of times and I'm playing on easy. <laughs> oh well. Or maybe, like, he hits a certain spot where that fairy comes out, like right in the middle in a certain frame, and, uh, it just destroys all his health. I don't know. Either way, we, we got what we wanted, which was, uh, this. Um, if you, I don't know if I cut this out in the edit, but, because I died a bunch of times, uh, so I had to edit, I'm going to have to edit a few things out, but, uh, as you can see here, this has a passive effect, grants poison properties to your arrows. Edia was a sinner who betrayed her own people. For such acts, she was purged, and her body sent to a sacred grove far from home. Um, but yeah, if you... Kill the bosses. Each boss in this game has a special item they will drop and if you beat them without getting hit once. Which is why I was retrying that boss over and over again. Um, yeah, now we have no... Uh, 
Oh wow, this is beautiful. I forgot about this. We're not going to have any of the easy items on for now. Uh, we're just going to have the Eddie's Pearl and Astral, Astral Charm. I'm sorry, who are you? I see, so you are Kaho, huh? What a unique name. Call me Ascorn. I take it you are unaware of the situation of these lands. <laughs> you mentioned your journey brought you here in search of the Queen. If you really intend to continue further in the Kingdom of Karst, beware. The ghastly presence has been enveloping everything. This sacred grove is one of the few untouched spots. Say anything else? Karst City is ahead. As dangerous as now, I must visit it to search for a beloved one. <laughs> okay, so this is Karst City. Um, yeah, really cool place, obviously. It kind of looks like um, Castlevania style area. Got another ivory bug, yay. And this lady came from that imp infested forest? Hey, <laughs> interesting. How can I help you? Is a merchant. And if, to see the information about the items they sell, you just click on the item and choose whether or not to buy it, and it says what it does. Uh, this crystal seed active effect temporarily increases attack by 50%. Can be useful for bosses, obviously. Uh, raises user's status, status sale. The passive effect raises user's resistance to status ailments. That would be the fairy tier. And this is the ring of candor. Uh, emits a sound when you're secrecy. We are going to get that, but I'm going to save for it for now. And I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks guys for watching uh, this episode of me playing Momodora Reverie Under the Moonlight. Uh, stay tuned, I will be uploading every day as usual with this game. So yeah, that's about it. Have a great!